So now we are going to be talking about shares and um, value added tax. So let's get started. So what are shares? Shares are sold by companies to public members. People buy stock so that they can earn through dividends or eventual sale of stock. So for the purpose of this topic, shares are going to be equivalent to stock. So they mean the same thing, but there's a slight difference. We're not going to bother ourselves with that. So what I mean by that, when a company goes public, what they do is that they issue out shares to the general member of the public and people can buy their shares. So by buying shares, what you are doing in essence is you are becoming a part owner of the company. So by becoming part owner of the company, then you are titled to dividend. So what is a dividend now? So when you own Part of a company and the company starts generating profit based on the amount or the fraction of the company you own, you are entitled to a fraction of the profit. So the profit that you're entitled to is referred to as the dividend. Now, what other ways can you generate profit from your shares? So let's assume you bought shares at let's say two naira per shares per share, and after a period of 10 years. The share price has increased to 10 naira per share. So, if we decide to sell after 10 years, now you can see that for each share that you sell, you get a profit of 8 naira. So, in essence, by buying shares in a company, you are hoping that the company is going to do well so as to generate profit so that you can earn dividends and also you are hoping that the company is going to appreciate in share value so that you can eventually sell your shares and generate profit so let's see how this plays out in the practical example so in this example we are told that a man invested 120,000 naira in one naira ordinary shares of a company he bought the shares for 1.5 naira each how many shares did he buy so now we can see that the value of the share is one naira ordinary shares but he bought the share for 1.5 naira each so what does this mean it means that the price in which he paid for each share is 1.5 naira so the first question is how many shares did he buy so we know that the number of shares that he bought is equals to the total number of money invested 120,000 divided by the price for each individual shares divided by 1.5 so we know that it bought what 80,000 shares so it's just like saying you have 120,000 naira and one orange cost 1.5 naira how many oranges can you buy with 120,000 naira it's just the same idea just that instead of talking of oranges you're talking about shares here so you go to this division and you get 80,000 so the B part says, if a dividend of 8 kobo per share is declared, how much dividend does he receive? So now, as I've explained, dividend refers to the profit that you get from your share. So now, we told that for each share you have, a dividend of 8 kobo is declared. So you receive 8 kobo as profit for each share that you have. Now, this man has 80,000 shares. So how much dividend is he going to receive? Is going to receive 80,000 since that is more of shares he has than times the dividend per share, which is 8 kobo. And when you multiply that, you have 640,000 kobo. And now to change it to Nera, you divide by 100, so you cancel to zero, so you are left with what 6,400 Nera. So in this question, we have been able to show how to calculate the number of shares. So in this case, the man had 80,000 shares and the dividend he earned is what? 6,400 naira. Now, let's talk about value added tax. So what is tax? So tax is a way in which the government generates revenue. And how is this possible? So we have kind of like direct tax and indirect tax which must have talked about in economics. So in direct tax, you are paying money directly to the government. But in indirect tax, 
the tax is being placed on the goods and services that are being they are purchasing and you are paying the indirect tax also to the government so now there are many kind of taxes but we're going to focus on the value added tax so this is a type of indirect tax charged on many goods and services and to explain that let's talk about the concept of payment so let's assume you go to the eatery now or you go to the store or shop right and you purchase some items like you purchase a can of milk one can of milk and you purchase let's say uh, purchase virus and you purchase a list of items and you're about to pay let's say with the POS machine when you pay and you check the receipt they are going to see the receipt is something like this and at the end you are going to see the list of the items that you bought and their price maybe 10 naira, 20 naira, 30 naira, down, down, down. And at the end, you're going to see something called VAT, which is the value added tax. Most of the case, the value added tax is usually expressed as a percentage. So you can see 5% value added tax. So what this means is that the sum of all the product that you have bought, you are going to pay 5% of it to the government. So that is the meaning of value added tax. So if the sum of all the products you bought is 1000 naira and the VAT is 5 percent it means that you are going to pay 5 percent of 1000 as your tax so that will be 5 over 100 times 1000 so you have this and that is what 20 naira so in essence you are going to pay 1020 naira instead of 1000 naira in which the 20 naira is the value added tax that is going to the government so let's talk about an example. So here we are told that an item costs 7,000 Naira VAT inclusive. If the rate of VAT is 5%, how much does the government receive? So now, what this means is that, okay, you bought an item now, like we have talked about. So let's say this is the item. And the price of the item is, we are not giving the price. We are Let's assume that the price is what x they will now pay vat value added tax of five percent so now the value added tax of five percent is just going to be five percent of the price of the amount i bought so since you have said the price of the item i bought is x so five percent of x is just going to be 5 over 100 times x which is what 0.05x so the value added tax that i'm paying is 0.05x but we're told that the total cost of the item plus vat that is what this vat inclusive means that means the sum price of the product x plus the price of the vat 0.5x is equals to what seven thousand naira so this is the amount that i paid so when i ask that how much does the government receive now we know that the fraction that the government receives is what 0.05x but to calculate this value we first need to find the value of x so we know that from here that the price of the item plus the value added tax is equal to seven thousand so we can see x plus 0.05x is equals to 7000 so we know that 1.05x is equals to 7000 and we can divide both sides by 1.05 and we know that x is equals to 6666.67 so now that i find the value of x so that means the cost of the item is what 666 plus 67 but the question is asking us the amount that the government receives so we know that the amount that the government receives is just five percent of the cost of the item which is 0.05 of x so the amount that the government receives, which is the value added tax is just the cost to 0.05 of x which will be equals to 0.05 into bracket 6666.67 and that will give me 
tigi 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 boy tigi tigi naira so the item that the guy purchased for 7000 naira the real amount of the item is 66.67 while the tax that is paid is tigi 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 point tigi tigi and when you have those two amounts together then you have the total cost of the item that is paid which is 7000 naira so this example is giving you a an idea of what value added tax means.